Welcome to Allen Digital. In today's lecture, we will be learning about one of the double membranous cell organelle that is mitochondria. Now, mitochondria is one such cell organelle which you until and unless stain it with a specific stain, you will not be able to view it under microscope. So, to stain it, we use a stain called Janus Green B. It's an important question in case of any exam which stain is used to stain the mitochondria you can always write Janus B green. Now mitochondria are the site of aerobic respiration and ATP production. In further slide you will learn about it. Organisms which perform respiration using oxygen they will have mitochondria and their actual aerobic respiration will occur and ATP will be produced. Since there is production of ATP, we also call mitochondria to be the powerhouse of the cell. Because ATP is the energy currency of the cell. To use something, to buy something, we use currency. In our country, we use INR. The same way, the cell will require some energy. That energy is in the form of ATP and where exactly ATP production in maximum number occur? It is inside the mitochondria. Hence, it is called the powerhouse of the cell. Now, it is typically sausage shaped or cylindrical. Let us study about the structure of the mitochondria. The size of the mitochondria is 1 to 4.15 micrometers in length and 0.2 to 1 micrometers in diameter. Let us move on to the structure of the mitochondria. Now, as you can see here, it's a double membranous cell organelle. There is an outer membrane. Next will come the inner membrane. The gap between the outer and the inner membrane is called the perimitochondrial space. Peri in between the two membranes of the mitochondria, it is called the perimitochondrial space. Next, you can see here the matrix. Mitochondria, it is enclosing a fluid inside it, which is called the matrix, mitochondrial matrix. That fluid of the mitochondria is matrix. It will have a lot of enzymes in it, which we will study. Now, as you can see, it has its own double-stranded circular DNA. Now, the DNA here is not linear as you see in case of nucleus. Here, the DNA is circular. It has its own RNA. Now, the DNA will code for the proteins. So, to code the proteins, it needs to make the mRNA and then from there, mRNA and ribosomes together will make the proteins required by the mitochondria. For the protein synthesis, we also need ribosome. So, mitochondria has 70S ribosome. Now, pay attention to these points here, which we will again reconsider about its DNA, about its type of ribosome. Alright, now, as you can see here, the inner membrane is enfolded. It has finger-like enfoldings called the cristae. These cristae contain the enzymes along with the inner membrane which help in aerobic respiration that is electron transport chain. Later, under respiration in detail, you will study about the function of the mitochondrial matrix and the function of the inner mitochondrial membrane as well as the cristae with respect to Krebs cycle and ETS respectively. Now, as you can see here, this cristae has small structures attached to it. I am going to show you here like this, you know. These are nothing but the oxisomes or we also call them F0, F1 particles or elementary particles. So, this is here the detailed structure of F0, F1 particle. If I place the inner membrane like this, F0, the base, this one is the stalk and this part is F1 head. This F1 head has 
an enzyme called ATP synthase. Now pay attention here. For any enzymatic reaction, we need a fluid based medium. So see the location of the site of the F1 head. It is towards the matrix. Why? It has ATP synthase enzyme. So that enzyme requires the fluid medium. It requires matrix. That's why it is facing towards the matrix. ATP synthase, you can identify its function now. It helps in the synthesis of ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell. Got it? That's one of the reasons why we call mitochondria to be the powerhouse of the cell. Now, here in mitochondria, we see electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. Electron transport system, ETS. During the respiration chapter, you will study that how during glycolysis, link reaction, Krebs cycle, various intermediary products are formed and NADH and FADH2 are formed. Those will enter electron transport chain to form the ATP. So, one NADH2 gives us 3 ATP, one FADH2 gives us 2 ATP. That is a process which you study in ETS under respiration. But what is the site of electron transport chain? It is a very important question. The site of electron transport chain or electron transport system is inner mitochondrial membrane. Oxidative phosphorylation because it helps in the synthesis of ATP. Now here the matrix if you notice, this matrix helps in Krebs cycle. What is the site of Krebs cycle? Again an important question. Your answer should be mitochondrial matrix. Now why mitochondrial matrix? Why not in cytoplasm? Why not somewhere else? Because the enzymes that are required for Krebs cycle are present in the matrix of the mitochondria. So as I told you, it has various enzymes. I explained you how the DNA forms the mRNA and then the mRNA along with ribosome forms the protein. Those proteins get modified, modified into the enzymes required for Krebs cycle and electron transport system. And one of the reasons why Krebs cycle, its site is only mitochondrial matrix because enzymes are present inside the matrix of the mitochondria. Now, next point you will study here is the two membranes have their own specific enzymes associated with the mitochondrial function. Outer membrane is relatively more permeable than the inner one. More permeable. What do I mean that outer membrane is more permeable? It has more permease protein. Proteins which will allow the molecules to enter. Permease. Permease is a term associated with permit. It has more permeable protein which permit the entry of substances. So, outer membrane will allow more substances to enter. Permeable permit. Next, here you have number of mitochondria depends upon the physiological activity of the cell. If a cell is physiologically more active throughout the day, any organ, any cell which is designed to be more active throughout the day will have more mitochondria in comparison to the other cell which are not that active throughout the day. So, in case of animals, you can take liver for example. Liver will have comparatively more number of mitochondria. Now next, as we have studied about the structure of the mitochondria, the double membrane structure, I told you keep that in mind that it has a circular DNA, it has 70S ribosome. With that we call it to be endosymbiont in origin, endosymbiont, it is two, I am going to break it into two parts, endo and symbiont. Endo means inside, symbiont means symbiotic association. It is believed that during the process of evolution, certain bacteria were retained by the eukaryotes inside eukaryotic cell. That is why endo means inside and symbiont means bacteria which are in retained by the eukaryotic cell within them. Why? So that they can help in aerobic respiration. Hence, 
the term endosymbiont in origin. Now, if I give a statement, I have to also prove that statement. Here is the scientific proof for that. Mitochondria is also called cell within the cell. Why? It has its own DNA. It has its own ribosome. It makes its own ATP. Hence, it is called, it is like a mini cell inside the eukaryotic cell. Biogenesis by fission. I have to prove the point, endosymbiont in origin. Bacteria, they divide by binary fission. Same way, mitochondria also divide by fission. Bacteria have, prokaryotic bacteria have single circular double stranded DNA and naked. Naked in the sense not surrounded by any nuclear membrane. In case of mitochondria also we have studied that it has circular DNA. Single in the sense one DNA, not many. Single double stranded circular DNA as we see in case of the prokaryotes. They have 70S ribosomes. In case of prokaryotes, 70S ribosomes are seen. And in case of eukaryotes, we see 80S ribosomes. But here, what are we seeing? That mitochondria also has 70S ribosome. Next point. In case of bacteria, the inner membrane of the bacteria, let us take this to be the cell wall of bacteria. And this here is the inner membrane of the bacteria. In case of bacteria, the inner membrane shows the infoldings called mesozoons. Something similar to it. Just now we studied what? Cristae. Even in case of mitochondria, the inner membrane shows the infolding called cristae. So another question here. Cristae is analogous to which structure? It is analogous to mesosome in case of bacteria. Now, the role of mesosome, it helps in cellular respiration. Criste also helps in cellular respiration. How? As I told you here, there are various enzymes in the inner membrane and Criste has oxisomes which help in synthesis of ATP. As this part, the head part has ATP synthase. So, this proves that the mitochondria has been evolved from some bacteria which were retained by eukaryotes as endosymbiont of the cell. Another point to prove it, prokaryotic cell is double membranous. They have cell wall and cell membrane. The same way mitochondria has evolved to become double membranous. They were once free living prokaryote but later converted into organelles through endosymbiosis. Semi-autonomous cell organelle. Why am I calling mitochondria to be semi-autonomous? Semi. Partially independent. How are they partially independent? For their own function, that is the synthesis of ATP to perform Krebs cycle, to perform electron transport chain. Mitochondria synthesizes its own enzyme using its DNA. Then what does it depend on the nuclear DNA for the membrane protein? Just now we studied that the outer membrane has more protein in comparison to inner membrane. For certain membrane protein, mitochondria is dependent on the nuclear DNA. And it is double membranous. Prokaryotes have cell wall and cell membrane. It is now evolved to have two membranes, outer and the inner membrane. Let us take a quick review here that the site of the electron transport chain is in a membrane of mitochondria. The site of the Krebs cycle is matrix of mitochondria. Where are the enzymes of Krebs cycle located? In the matrix of mitochondria except one succinate dehydrogenase which is present in the inner membrane. And the mitochondrial inner membrane infoldings are analogous to which structure? They are analogous to the mesosomes of the prokaryotic cell. That's it. Thank you.